What the what's up? What's up? Guys, how's everybody doing? Um, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time frame it is. Um I'm up once again early in the morning. Um damn microphone was far away from my damn mouth. I don't know whether you heard me or not. But last time I was here, I was doing a mission. I can't believe she looks like that. <laughs> Alright. I don't know what my next mission is, but it's telling me to travel somewhere. So let's get going. I know I warned her about the war and stuff. So now we need to travel out of here. And where are we going? That's a good question. Hopefully you could tell me where I'm going. And I don't run into any foes on the way out. This is the craziest thing. How do you make a village a village in a certain spot? And then the um place doesn't get attacked. Um, where the hell are we supposed to be going? Let's just go here. Fuck it. Um I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Okay. What's up, homie? Um we need to sell some items. I have an axe that's two of the same, which is not gonna do me no good. No, I don't wanna I wanna sell. Okay, thank you. Uh that's equipped. This ring I can't use. The sword I'm not gonna be able to use and definitely the hammer we can actually sell that. We can sell that. Wait. One ninety four. But that has special aspects. Stun fairy and thingy. Ah uh, uh this wand is mysterious, it's magical stun fairy and thingy. Ah uh, Um The ring I'm definitely keeping. Hopefully I'll be able to actually get that. Divine magic ring. Mental power of three. So what I need to work on is my defining power, which is magic. So who got magic? That's a good question. I don't know. Somebody got magic. The question is who? Mm-hmm. Um... Got so much stuff on me, I don't even know what half of this stuff is. Okay, Ember. These are stuff that I'm actually finding. In the chests and stuff. What's the scowl? Scowl could be used to craft legendary agent. We sell it to the merchant. So, the scowl could be used to craft legendary objects. He's selling it to merchants, so I can sell it to merchants. The silver rain bears on my coat and arms. Sell it to the merchant. So these things I can sell to the dead. Fell to take from the body creature. Sell it to the merchant. So basically, these are merchants that I can actually sell. Although a bit discussion and the heart taken from the remains of creature as they increase considerable. Okay, so these are certain stuff that I can actually just sell to them, and they will take oh god I have to figure out how to freaking make potions need to figure out how to make potions how do I make potions and second of all where the hell am I going um apparently this is not the spot where I need to be oops keep pushing the wrong button um, what is my mission? Wait a second. I got two points. What is this? The spell, right? That's stasis. This one's the divine magic. Yeah, we're gonna do the divine magic. We're gonna make myself divining. We gonna work on our magic. Because we don't have any magic. 
And the reason why I'm going to work on the magic is because it would be actually a smart thing to do. Um, strength talent sucks my foot. Uh, mental power level 2. Um, I think we're going to have a lot of basically me trying to talk my way out of a certain stuff. So, um, I'm going to go with my next upgrade would be where are you there it goes cut so slightly reduces merchant's price um I don't know I wonder if I could max out all of this stuff it would be nice right before I could actually finish the whole game that would be freaking awesome um Always allows you to craft basic regular armor upgrades. Well, I know for a fact my armor I need to definitely upgrade. Not only that, I also need certain stuff. Uh, lock picking. Uh, I think that will come last, but that is actually important with the lock picking. And then you got the science level, which is level one I got. Um, gotta figure out what I'm gonna do, you know, because the eyeball is definitely what I need, because it can gather sight, become easier to see, it gives you a number of ingredients in a team throughout the gathering, looting, and unlock as well. Uh, increase the map discovery ratios. Oh, these are all um, map stuff. Um, allows you to craft weapons. This one lets you pass through current difficult passages that require balance. And then you got Dorth Kadisma, slightly reduce the merchant's prices. Hmm. That's what I'm saying, guys. You have to be careful what you choose when you actually play this. So it's a lot of stuff that you have to choose, and you're not sure what the heck to choose. Oops. So I got a max civil coin that has been marked in a simple cross in the car who led the group that was escorted money from the merchant was carrying it on him. So we have some weird stuff a present that was given to you by mother when you bid farewell which is dependent which we don't know who the heck that is then right here you got the mixture that's supposed to be a whatever that is current evil accepted the uh, malachor then the key opens the storeroom from Terra and Shrine. So I need to find that daggone key. A key? Innkeeper storeroom key. Hmm, I might have to go back there. But where the hell was that? Uh, this key opens the cell where Mr. Constantine was held. Well, I got Mr. Constantine out of there. Wait a second. The key that opened the cell to the Serene Harbor Jail. I got in there too to let the boy out. Uh, reset your skill points so you can oscillate them again. Excuse me? I don't know what the hell half of this stuff is. Alright, so where are we going? This is the quest that I'm actually on right here. It says, the magic card, go to... Okay, so that's where we're going. So I definitely went to the wrong spot. Okay. Thank you. This is not the spot. Teleport. I said teleport. No! You little bastard. Oh, 
Screw it. I swear, sometimes this thing is actually stupid. And then you, then you don't know which way to go. I thought I was at the village. And apparently I'm not at the village. Oh, shit. Hold on. There's got to be a quicker way, because I don't feel like battling. Because every time I battle, I freaking fill up my daggone inventory, guys. I don't want to... Oh. Just stop running into stuff. Yeah, I don't want to battle. Okay, so we're going to... Play fast travel. Yes, we is, guys. We're playing fast travel right now. Just bear with me. Because I don't know where the hell to go. <laughs> I know the game started all freaking boring and lame. Please forgive me. Um, For the people who was watching the gameplay last time, please forgive me. And the premiere for the last gameplay that I played this. Um... I was playing a horror game trying to figure out what I was going to do for that horror game. And I actually decided to actually go live with it. I think that would be even more cooler if I go live. Okay, so we are here. Open the door. I see you glowing. What is in it? More beast stuff. And what is in you? I don't have lock picking skills. Okay. Alright, so apparently there's something that we're supposed to be doing. And I have to find it guys, so bear with me. Wait a second, there's an exclamation mark on somebody's head. Where is he? I don't know. I see it on the map. Come closer, good people. The cure and wine from the continent. You did? Yeah. Where is it? Where is he? I saw him. Hold on. Where are you? Ah, he's over here. Adoy. Can you help me? Hi, what's up with you? Bertir to mad on all Menawi. Why are you dressed like this? Hello, I'm not one of your people. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. A legate? Is that someone important? Indeed. I'm in charge of diplomatic relationships with other nations. So you'll be able to help me? My chief sent me to trade some items with your village, but there are these bod irony who do not want me to set up shop here. These what? Bod irony. The ironbacks. The warriors who protect this village. Every time I come, they take my items without giving me anything in exchange. Please, I don't understand how things work here. Very well. Stay here. I'll try to clear this up. Adlo radar on all Menawi. May the earth always be sturdy under your footsteps. So, apparently... He's been having some issues with his merch. And we have to fix this situation. How sweet. Alright, Mr. Coin Guard. Where are you, little bastard? Excellency, what can I do for you? 
I met an islander in the streets who was complaining to me about the guard's behavior. Really? It would seem that patrols have confiscated the goods he was hoping to sell several times. Oh, I see. Indeed, I've been told about this man. The problem, Your Excellency, is that our orders are strict. Merchants who do not have a patent ratified by the minister cannot sell their goods in the street. And since your islander doesn't have one, I doubt he even knows what it is, my men have no choice but to confiscate his knickknacks. I see. Thanks for clarifying that. I'll talk to the minister. Is there anything else? No. Nope. No, thank you. So apparently... He's definitely not... He did say he's not from around here. So... Now where the hell is the minister? How do I talk to the minister? Maybe I could take a small little shortcut. I need a bit of practice. Ah, oh, damn it. Move out the way, you little bastards. Let me grab this chest. I guess I run around in circles. Now you see why I say, guys, you need certain stuff in this game. Or you end up running around in circles. I think I would have been able to actually get past there a lot quicker if I had balance. You know? That's why I said you have to watch what you do. And that's exactly what we all need to do. Let's go talk to this douche. Where the hell is he? Wait. Hold on. It told me to go here. Now it's not telling me to go here. You little bastard, which way to go? That just told me to come here. Oh my god. Uh, one. So where the hell do you want me to go? Yeah, I need to get out of my way. There's so many fucking doors, it's crazy. Um, straight and forward. Okay. So this is the reason why you're confused. Yeah. This is why I'm confused. I'm confused because... What the hell? Ah! He's over here! Minister. Your Excellency, it is always an honor. How may I serve you? Okay, so finally him with a I would like to talk to you about an islander who is trying to set up shop in our city. Since he doesn't have a patent, his wares get confiscated as soon as he receives them. And you want me to provide him with the said patent? I would be delighted to show you the procedure to follow so that we may study his request. You'll understand that we cannot give an authorization without having determined the value of the goods beforehand. We must determine the tax rate according to this value, determine the best emplacement for this business. In short, these things take time. A lot of time. Hmm. I have a 50 50 chance of actually consulting with him. This is definitely not going to be pretty. <sighs> I don't think my charisma is actually up there yet. But it's 50 50%. So I might actually win. But then again, I might be able to convince him. But it's a chance. I don't think we're going to be able to convince him. The student says. Minister, allow me to insist. Alas, your insistence will not change a thing. I heard your request and it will be processed. It is only a matter of a few months. Would you like anything else? What exactly is your role here? 
I am tasked with advising Governor Constantine about business matters. And I make sure that all business contracts are established properly and are favorable to us. I am responsible for setting taxes on goods based on their value, among other things. It is an exciting job that requires the utmost care. Would you like anything else? That'll be all. Goodbye, Your Excellency. Okay. This pencil pusher is as rigid as a halberd. Do you know how to make him change his mind? Sir de Corsillion knows all the subtleties of courtiers. He'll know how to convince him. Yep, so basically this is going to be hard because even if I were to able to do anything, I don't think I'll be able to do a damn thing. saying up Ooh, excuse me so who's up here what room is he in ah sir de Corsillon. the sad day my young student what can I do for you Okay, should I talk about the camps or should I talk about the professor? Well, actually, let's talk about the camps, actually. The mission you entrusted me with has made great progress. Very well. Let's see. Good. You have traveled great distances. And the Terra Incognita will soon be but a distant memory. Keep doing what you're doing, Dosade. Can your old professor still prove himself useful? Okay, let's start to the professor. I found no traces of Professor Serafedin yet. That's most regrettable. But keep looking for him, will you? You never know. Can your old professor still prove himself useful? Let's go. I would like to enlist your help in making the Minister of Commercial Affairs see reason. Did our finickety Minister of Paperwork bother you? He refuses to speed up the procedure to create a patent needed by a native merchant. The poor man has already had his wares confiscated several times, despite the fact that if he were given permission to set up shop in our city, it would certainly improve relations with our neighbors. I'm not surprised. This man really loves to lose himself in writing up pointless paragraphs. Let me write you a recommendation letter. All right. He'll see my seal, and I'm certain that he'll become more compliant. Thank you for your help, sir. Don't mention it. Always delighted to help you, and to bother this annoying little man. Can your old professor still prove himself useful? <laughs> uh. What do you know about Lady Morange? Laurine de Morange is a brilliant woman. The work that she has accomplished here is uh, remarkable. In that case, why did the prince strip her of her governor status? For political reasons, obviously. Allowing someone so brilliant to govern a distant city for too long is not without risks. She may eventually have whims of independence. What's more, the prince was looking for a position where your cousin could learn his responsibilities. This governor position seemed ideal. Okay. Keep going. What can you tell me about the congregation's status on the island? Well, thanks to Lady Morange's excellent work, our situation is rather comfortable. Our young city is expanding, new villages and cultivations are starting to emerge, and unlike our neighbors, we have managed to develop rather positive relations with the natives. I hope that our new governor will continue in this direction. Last but not least. Do you have any news from my uncle? Don't forget how long it took us to reach this shore. I don't think we'll receive any mail from the prince for some weeks. But I am certain that he would be very satisfied with your work here. <laughs> Just like I am. Okay. 
Let's go. Looking forward to seeing you again, Sir de Corsignon. Yeah, so basically this place is a hell of a freaking maze. Holy shit. Get me the hell out of here. <laughs> I didn't think this place was that big, but damn. Excuse me. What the hell? Excuse me. Yo. Minister. Your Excellency, it is always an honor. How may I serve you? <laughs> I would like to have another discussion with you about the patent for the merchant whom I told you about. As I explained, these things take time. But I'm listening. Show him the letter. Sir de Corsillion was kind enough to give me a letter addressed to you. A letter? Of recommendation, I suppose. Ah, I see. I have no other choice but to accept your request. But I hope all merchants will not make use of the same special favors. Here's the patent that will allow your protege to legally pursue his activity in the city. You should give him this copy, the other one will be kept in the archives. However, one of my representatives will visit his stall for the estimation and to determine the tax rate in accordance with the... Thanks a lot, Minister. Looking forward to seeing you again. Would you like anything else? Nope. That'll be all. Goodbye, Your Excellency. Hopefully did. I didn't make a wrong call. Let's go see this merchant. After we get out of this maze. Let's go. Goodness gracious, it's a hell of a freaking maze. Where is he? He's down here somewhere. Where is he? Straight ahead? See, I don't even remember where the hell he at. Ah, there you go. Excuse you. You came back. Something terrible happened. What is it? I was just bringing you the patent you needed to set up shop. The Bod Irony came back and they took my cousin away. He came to bring us animal pelts and new objects from the village. But the warriors came back. They took everything he was bringing me. And they also took him. Oh, I don't know what they will do with him. Please, bring him back to me. I don't see why they would have arrested your cousin, but I'll try to find out. Oh, come on. Which way did they go? Hold on. Oh, that's the long way. Okay, let's go the other way. Excuse me. Which way is it? It's around the other corner. My head is itching like a dog. What the hell is going on here? Guys. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? I've come to see you again to talk about the Islander merchant. I managed to obtain a license for him, but he informed me that while I was taking care of this, his cousin, who was making a delivery for him, was arrested. I'm sorry, Your Excellency. Especially considering you've managed to obtain an official authorization for him. <sighs> I'm afraid my men ran out of patience when they saw this hunter making deliveries for the merchant again. They wanted to confiscate his cargo, but the lad resisted and he was thrown in jail for disorderly conduct. If you want to set him free, that's where you must go. Sorry, again, Your Excellency. 
I should have known you'd managed to obtain the necessary license for your protege and told the patrol. Is there anything else? No, thank you. Swear. What is wrong with you guys? Now how do I get down there? I'm looking for a prisoner, a native who should have been brought here recently. You're a bit late. He was sent to fight in the arena. Are in you arena? serious? So this man was judged. Who pronounced the sentence? Whoa there. Do you really think that we would organize a proper trial for a savage? He attacked some guards. He's lucky he won't gun down right there and then. At least in the arena, he has a chance of survival since apparently he's a hunter. This man was only defending the goods he was bringing to his cousin. And now he has to fight for his life. I have no hand in this. I'm not the one who made this decision. They brought him here and then they took him away, that's all. What did you do with the goods he had with him? They got confiscated, put in the storeroom like all the rest. Anything else? You're an asshole. I must leave you. What an asshole. <laughs> Pick this shit up, little fuckers. Anything else here? Damn, he had a nice freaking. I swear. Y'all need to get your shit together. I can't unblock that. Let's just go. I swear. This game is full of nonsense. How the hell am I supposed to freaking save his ass? Alright, so let's go back to the merchant. Oh, we're not going back to the merchant. We're going over here. He's down in this dang Hi. This part of the establishment is reserved for regular customers who paid an entry fee. Sorry, but I can't let you in. In that case, allow me to pay the fee. We're delighted to have you as a regular customer, Your Excellency. Have fun. What an asshole. Why should I have to fucking pay? What is wrong with these people? Why should I have to pay to get down there? That's nonsense. I shouldn't have to pay. They just take money from me and I'm an agency. Y'all crazy. My cousin was with me. Would I still have to pay? This is a big ass freaking arena. Oh lord, look at this. And this is where we gotta stop off, guys. Stay tuned for the next part. <laughs>